This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. Well, you know what they say. Nothing is certain in life except death and taxes. And that tax impact is something, well, you're just not going to be able to escape, even in retirement. But there are some steps you can take to help reduce this impact on your retirement savings. I know that is something that is important for everyone. I'm Alex Stingman alongside Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group. You know, only thing we can count on is change. And I know there's been some change uh, with the taxes. Big, big changes, real big changes. But plus, I'm glad you, you and I had spoke about this show and it's a timely show, even though tax season here is you know, no matter when it is, tax season. Tax season could be every single day yeah. when you pull money out, not pull money out. But as we plan for tax season, not only this year, 2024, but in 23, you still have, if it's not the April 15th or whatever date the tax season is, sure. you still have an opportunity to put your IRA money away or Roth money away or double down. So this is a critical a show. I'm glad you brought it up to the attention of our listeners because the problem, what I've found is people don't look at the tax returns in relationship to their investments in relationship to their retirement. Mm. And those three devils always sneak up. And I just met with somebody, so I'm glad we're doing the show. I'm going to bring him in, the, bring his story in. I just won't use his name of yep. exactly the problem we found. And I think people are going to take advantage of this. So don't, don't hang up. No. By the way, if you've got a tax question, guys out there, and a concern when it comes to your money, hmm. call your tax guy. Call your advisor. He should know. And if not... Then call Ghostbusters. Call me, 609-488-4646. You know, this is what we do with our clients, our financial clients. We review the taxes along their investments. And then how can we make them beneficial for the dynasty, uh, the uh, dreams, dollars, and dynasty. But Alex, you got some questions for me about tax history. It's been around. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one other point uh, I wanted you to make too, Scott, that number again, 609-488-4646 for Scott and his team is that, yeah, the tax day is coming up here in April, but it is a year round thing. And there's strategizing you can do at all points of the season. I think that's important because folks, a lot of times only think about it here, these first couple months of the year, but from your chair, there's a lot you could be doing throughout the year, throughout the years to help you in these situations. And that's the kind of vantage point that you can bring to the table, Scott. Yeah. And, and there are a lot of advantages because let's say you're going to go out and buy a new car. What account do you take it from? If you're a 73 or older, or maybe you're under the old law, 70 and older, you're pulling out. Okay. Which accounts do I take it from and which is beneficial? Or do we need to do the uh, allocation, moving money around to different investments now that the economy is changing and it changes all the time? So the tax return is a, a good tool when I meet with clients, my financial clients, not just taxes, we do taxes here, but if you're a client of ours and, and if you have an advisor, he or she looks at your tax returns on a yearly basis minimum. If they haven't looked at your tax returns on a yearly basis, it's almost like you're you're advising with one eye closed. And that's just double dumb because you need to make maximize your tax return, pay less to Uncle Sam the best you can, and, or none if it's legally a uh, opportunity. But we have a new rule coming in, Alex, what Alex will talk about in a second. Yeah. Alex, we talked about the TCJA. Guys, write this down. TCJA. This is about to expire for 2025. If you are not familiar with the TCJA, you need to write this number down, 609-488-4646, so you can plan because this is going to affect your tax returns really really important. 
Yeah. And you know what, Scott, something else that's important to know is that, you know, we have different sources of income that are going to be taxed differently in retirement as well. And, and so there's just, you know, there's just not one way uh, to solve this or think about this. There's a lot of different areas that can be taxed and a lot of different strategizing that needs to happen. It does. If you're in retirement and you're meeting with me, it's this young person just met with me and we're doing their tax returns. Young, I should say. He's he's uh, 72. Uh, he'll take his RMD next year. But he was took money out of his account. And when he called, what the, used a fancy uh, four-letter words, I can't believe I paid that much tax. Well, let me ask you something, sir. Hmm. You pulled out an additional $63,000. Uh, was that for any benefits? He goes, I was helping my son. We're going to build, a, uh, build a, a garage. Oh, wonderful. And you're building a garage. So you took it out of your 401k, not out of your checking and savings account because you had plenty of money there. You took it out of the 401k. He goes, yeah, but it's for my son. Okay, well, you can't write it off. It's not a tax deduction. It's an improvement. So you didn't hold back taxes. When the financial advisor asked you about your tax bracket, when he looked at your tax return the previous year before he sent you the money, what did he say? He said, Scott, they never asked that question. Mm. Does that sound familiar, you guys out there? Yep. This is a, this is a very, very delicate area because- we found out that he has to pay $15,000 of taxes. And of course you heard him on the phone. What the, um, all these fancy, uh, everybody says it's from Italy or somewhere or overseas or from France or from, this is a French connection. No, it's a real word. They're cuss words. So he was freaking out because he didn't, wasn't aware. This is why we built the tax department, Alex, for our firm. So yep. if you're married and now you're single, your taxes change. If you're about to retire, Social Security can be taxed up to 85, 85% when Social Security was made to be non-taxable. Now it can be taxed up to 85%. How can we keep it below 85%? That's in the tax return and your investments. And so there's three types of investments you must look at on a yearly basis. Alex, this is so important, especially yeah. for the TCJA. Do you remember what I said that was? I didn't. It's called the Tax Cuts and Job Act. This started in 2017, and it's going to evaporate 2025. You better do your planning with your financial advisor. And if he or she doesn't look at it, well, then the next best thing is if you'd like to give our office or studios a call, maybe ask a quick question. I can try to help you. But this is important because the Tax Act coming off 2025, and this is going to affect everybody. Yep. And don't go it alone. If you have questions, that number 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Scott McLean and the wonderful team at McLean Advisory Group. Tax day coming up. It's right and, around the corner. You know, Scott, most people are going to have Social Security. It's one of their sources of income in retirement, at, at least right now. Yeah. Now, I'm sure there's some tax impacts with those Social Security checks, probably something worth discussing when you take your social security uh as i mentioned maybe before and we do in all our workshops we talk about up up to, you know it could be zero tax so uh, all of a sudden you're making uh let's say thirty thousand dollars of uh social security income that is tax free but wait mm, the rest of the story is here because if you have other income coming in whether it's employment ira income maybe you pulled money from a 401k Maybe you're getting a pension that adds to the amount of money. So if you're a single and you got $24,000 of other income than social security, that could boost your social security up to 85%. So now the 34,000 that you're receiving in social security, if it's that much money, well, $34,000, that means 85% is going to be taxed. So $28,900 is going to be taxed. Let's make it simple. If you're receiving $10,000 of Social Security and you're receiving $24,000 of other income, that $10,000 of Social Security is now taxed at 85% or $8,500 is now added to the pension and other monies you're pulling out. This is why you design your game plan on how to pull money out. If you haven't done it, this is so important. I get these calls all the time. So yep. be very, very, and when you're planning for retirement, the best number to write down 
is 609-488-4646. Why? I'll help you. No cost. No, no, we'll do it over the phone or quick numbers if you're a numbers person. And if not, maybe this is a place for you to take a look at because I can guide you through these jungles of, I don't know about taxes. I don't mm-hmm. know about investments. Well, that's normal. Yeah. You're not trained in that field, but we are for over 43 years now. Don't put this on the shelf. No, absolutely. I mean, this is where it's one of the most important you know, aspects of the finances and one of those areas where your experience really shines, where, you know, like with the stock market, you've seen different things over time and you know how to both make it realistic for people, but put people's minds at ease as well. And and so that's what I want to finish with, Scott, is just very simply, you know, how do you talk to folks that might be concerned about taxes impacting their retirement in the future? You know, the best thing I think that when I've been over my 40 years in the industry is when we look at the whole picture, it gives me better questions. If I look at one thing, let's just say the tax returns, I'm just hitting history. I don't want to look at history. I've got to look at the future. How are you pulling money out? Where is it coming from? Under the new job tax act, when it's evaporating, it is going to hit every area when those exemptions you are getting, they're going to go away. They're going to be reduced. The child tax credit, they're going to be reduced from 2000 to 1000. You got the state and local tax, the jobs, they got the salt tax. Every one of these new tax changes affects the way you pull money out and when you have your income. Now, you might not be able to do anything about it. I don't know, but at least it's something you need to look at. So if you had a, like myself, a knee injury and you want to get better, you're going to look at any way, shape or form how to make it better. And I'm telling you out there, when you look at your finances, you must look at these areas uh, because we're talking about a tax show on the areas of how can you better align your investments to reduce taxes if you can to pull out money more tax favorably and maybe doing maybe start doing a Roth conversions because taxes or the history of taxes will increase because of the money we're spending. We all know that it's not going to change under the new president coming up or it could be the same one. I'm not going to go in that dog hunt. I don't want people to start, you know, committing Harry <laughs> Carey, but I do want you to make it real clear. No matter what president is, this, the cycle still goes. And this is why your financial guy uh, or gal needs to look at your tax return. Hey, if you have questions, I have answers. And if I don't have answers, I can get them. I have tons of contacts. We are very well versed in this area. I'd love to hear you at 609-488-4646. That's our office here. Uh, One of the staff will get you 609-488-4646. Tax returns tells a story. Is it a good story or like today, a story that led to uh, cuss words because their financial advisor didn't tell them by taking excessive money, they're now taxed at the highest rate. I'd love to hear you. 609-488-4646. No cost, no obligation. I'm here to help you guys right here in Weartown for so many years, Alex. Yes, I love it. No, great advice today. Very important stuff and plenty more to come. This is Financial Insanity. Stop for a moment and think about this. Do you know how much money in your 401k or IRA is actually yours? Or will the government take a bigger chunk than you thought? Remember, you still might owe taxes on that money, but do you have a plan to help make sure you don't pay more than you should? At McLean Advisory Group, we believe you deserve to keep more of what you've earned, which is why we're here to help you navigate the confusing world of retirement taxes. It's your money. You deserve to know what's at stake. Right now, taxes are historically low, but they won't be this low forever. So call the McLean Advisory Group team today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. You work hard for your money, and we'll work just as hard to help you keep it. McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. The Clean Tax Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies are not associated entities. Frankly, you could have your grandkids tweet out to your friends or go on the Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is and say, I got great information from Scott. And you left out TikTok there as you're rambling oh, off the, right. the <laughs> different social media being used by the kids today. You got to remember that TikTok. Oh, that's right. Tickety-tock. 
This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. There is so much excitement around starting a brand new phase of life with your retirement. But if you're relocating to your dream retirement home, downsizing to a smaller house or condo, or simply wanting to declutter for this new time of life, you've got to face getting rid of stuff. And when it comes to confronting your possessions later in life, retired professor David Eckert literally wrote the book on the subject. You really can't delegate the management of paper to other people. You have to look at all of it. And one piece of paper can stop you for hours because you'll discover something that needs to be done or somebody who needs to be contacted. And hours and hours of work on paper really doesn't reduce uh, the volume of uh, things that are in, for example, a desk or a, or a kitchen, but it has to be done. So that would be a great place to start. So that was uh, Eckert talking about how that, you know, accumulating things, that's just a natural part of life. But in his book, he says at some point, all this has to come out and, and it can feel overwhelming. And that's where he says those piles of paper in your house, a good place to start uh, when you're, when really you're trying to organize. You know, you can get so caught up in mail. You're looking through it. Get to the point. What's your focus? What's your time spent on? And you could, it could rip apart. I mean, time is so precious. It is so powerful. And as you get older, it becomes more precious. And you'll understand that, Alex, since yeah. you're a young man. But when you get older, the question is, how much time? Where should I spend my time? Maybe it should be for many of us listening to the station and me as well. Get to the gym. Spend time there versus going through papers and papers and papers. Again, get your stuff in order. Maybe uh, get your kids involved. And if somebody in the estate, when you talk about the dollars, the dreams, the dollars, and of course the uh, dynasty, maybe get your kids involved when it comes to your estate. But when it comes to getting your stuff and you're downsizing, this has an emotional attachment where people put it off or they don't want to get to it. They And they get to sort through the belongings. This could be a lot of stuff. When I hear people want to move their move out of their house and downsize, Alex, you just mentioned, the hardest part is sorting through all that stuff. Yep. And uh, other people say a cuss word, but we'll just say <laughs> stuff because it just keeps adding up. And then you, your memory, you look at all this stuff and you try to put it away like these hoarders on TV. It has an emotional attachment. You know what? Let's get new emotion. Yep. Let's change. Let's not look at history. Let's look at the future. What could it look like and feel like? And again, as he was saying, you get so caught up in the paperwork and this and that, put it aside, get to it. And maybe you're just stop looking at this crap, be done with it. But again, the emotional attachment and sorting through belongings, this could really stop you from downsizing. Yeah. So Scott, you're saying I don't have to keep every single drawing and, and little <laughs> coloring that my son has done. Are you, you're saying I could throw some of that away? And for those of you who are acting like Alex being a knucklehead right now, the answer is yes, you can keep them. With the new phones, Alex, you can take a picture, oh. then throw it out. So if you have ah, to go back to it, very smart. you can just look at the pictures. Meanwhile, you're wasting flipping time looking, and now what do I do with it? Where do I put it? How do I file it? And you end up going nowhere. You, you, yeah. Your mental brain just gets stuck in this loop getting nowhere, Absolutely. and that's just double dumb. No, you are completely right. If you need help, if you need the green light from Scott to throw something away or to take a picture of it so you can keep it, the number is 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. And Scott, obviously, you're not showing up to somebody's house to help them, uh, you know, organize all no, the knickknacks. Like <laughs> but, you know, people do have financial statements. They got a lot of financial documents. Can you play a role in helping yeah. someone organize that stuff? Yeah, it's, it's so important to understand where the money is and, of course, where it came from. If you're changing advisors from one advisor to another advisor, maybe you keep a year a year of uh, uh, documents back. A lot of uh, documents now online. Every Most every single company has it. Well, I guess they all have it online with their PDF file. You can save that, put it, categorize it, and put it there if you have to have it. Um, sometimes you need to go back and look at some old trades and some things. Maybe something got messed up. But, again, you can have that. But, again sort through that. If you haven't looked at it and touched it, why do you now want to keep going back? Well, it, it, just in case I need to. Okay, well, just in case you need to, then you file it away and don't look at it again until you need it. And then Categorize it for those people who really are so detail-oriented. And there's a lot of smart, beautiful people that way. That's why they call them these people librarians. They have the master's degree. Well, you got to categorize your stuff. But again, the emotional attachment, 
sorting through the belongings, you think you got a lot of stuff, can be life-changing. And, and then, of course, when you want to downsize, it could stop you from downsizing. You really got to prioritize yeah. what's really important to me now, what's important to my family now, and what's important to me in the future. Because I, myself, is hard to throw away stuff sometimes. Yeah. And I've got books. My wife says, Scott, throw away these stupid books. You can get them online. Uh, I just had some good read chapters in there. And she, she'll say to me, when's the last time you picked up that book? Well, I won't answer her because she's got me. I'm in a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> so those, those of you, if you got a wife like mine who is a, a lovely, a lovely lady or a husband, maybe a husband, and they're giving you some uh, voices of reason. There's no sense fighting it because you're in a corner and you can't get yourself out of it. Just make a decision and move forward because I can tell you the emotional, the attachment, the belongings mm. you have and getting rid of it, you're going to get stuck and you can't move forward. Well, and Scott, I'm sure you've seen this before where somebody thinks they have a financial strategy, but what they really have is a pile of statements or a yes. shoebox full of account information. And so this kind of cleanup process can also help unveil, you know, what does the person really have anyways? You know, I, I, that is so important because when you do, uh, you know, reviews with clients and you meet with people and say, let me find where you're at, you start asking questions, the, the 3D approach, the the dreams, what you want. And you start asking detailed questions and they find out, you know, Scott, I want to thank you for a second opinion because my financial guy really, really never asked those questions. I said, well, let's, let's dive down deeper because this is important as we talk about their dreams. And we talk about their dreams, which leads to the dollars because we find out that maybe they suffocated their dreams because they don't know where to get the dollars. Or maybe they haven't followed through with their dreams because they didn't have a, a concrete plan. Well, this is really important to discuss this, not on a, a, on a uh, 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 every three or four or five years. Are you on your plan? If you're, are you working out? Are you getting stronger? Are you losing weight? Are you watching it? Are you monitoring it? It's the same thing with the finances. Are we moving ahead or not? And Scott, if you would for me, uh, give me that phone number again. And what happens uh, when folks make that call? When people give us a call, you can give our studios a call. 609-488-4646. Ask for Laura. And if you've been listening to my station for over, what, 12, 13, 14 years that Bonnie was here, Bonnie is uh, retired now, moved on to greener pastures, which I, I hate her for because I love her to death. But anyway, she's on to greener pastures. And uh, and so I'm so pleased to have Laura help us for those new people listening to us. She'll help put you in my book. And I love to talk to you. If I'm available right away, she'll put you in. But again, we'll take a 10, 15 minute phone call and get your questions formulated. Write them down. And then what I would encourage you is what do you want to get out of that phone call? Time is valuable. I want to give you as much meat and potatoes as I can when you ask a question. And if I don't know the answer, I can promise you, I will find the answer or lead you to someone that will help you that answer. And you can get me by 609-488-4646. Again, it's real simple. Give us a call, 609-488-4646. Very simple phone number right here in Weartown, New Jersey, right across the street from Dunkin' or down the street, Dunkin' Donuts and ShopRite. Right here, beautiful area of Weartown, New Jersey. And I look forward to speaking. Don't put this off. Planning is planning. Not planning could be failure, and it could cost you a lot of money. Hmm, absolutely. Well, decluttering and downsizing are a few of the non-financial challenges of preparing for retirement. More to come here on Financial Insanity. Who likes uncertainty? Wall Street certainly does not. With near record inflation and partisan politics, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. What will America's future look like? What will your future look like? Will your taxes go up? Will your savings go down? For more than 40 years here in the Jersey Shore area, Scott McLean and the team of McLean Advisory Group have seen uncertainty come and go. No matter what the future holds, Scott can help you create a plan designed to preserve your finances in uncertain times. And it's not a matter of if those uncertain times will show up, but when. Call 609-488-4646 now to meet with Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group. If uncertainty is causing you to feel insecure, Scott McLean might be able to help. Call 609-488-4646 and schedule your visit today. Again, that's 609-488-4646. 4646. Investment advisory services are offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. 
get all this stuff and you try to put it away like these hoarders on TV, it has an emotional attachment. So Scott, you're saying I don't have to keep every single drawing that my son has done? You're saying I can throw some of that away? The answer is yes, you can take a picture, oh. then throw it out. We made it back. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. There's so much excitement around starting a brand new phase of life with your retirement. And as we're talking about today, well, decluttering, downsizing, those are some non-financial challenges of preparing for retirement, but challenges that they are for sure. And retired professor David Eckert wrote the book, Downsizing, talks about just this and the time in life when you have to confront the stuff that we've accumulated over the years. David says, while it is a challenge, he says it's a good feeling to declutter, donate, and downsize. And we studied people in, a, in over 100 households in the Midwest, um, people with large households and people with very modest households. Almost everybody was glad after they moved that they had been able to downsize, and they felt very good about what they did. They felt empowered. And you can get that. We all can, right, Scott? I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's scary to tackle all that, but man, when you're on the other side, you got a lot of clarity and you're feeling accomplished. When you get rid of the emotional attachments and you're sorting through all your stuff, as we spoke about earlier, in downsizing, and this creates a life change, a lifestyle change. So your focus should be focused on what is it going to look like to have a smaller house? How great would it be less mowing the yard for some of you? Maybe it's living out in the country like I do. You know, this uncertainty about the future, that could be exciting for some people. But where it starts really in creating something that you can lean on, something like maybe it's a budget. Or maybe you know where your money's coming from and it's now it's solid in your mind, mind how the money's going to be coming out. Maybe your financial concerns, your downsizing could really help save money. Now you can go out and do more things, travel more. Maybe you, your estate planning. There's nothing better when I see people, they come into our office, we talk about legacy planning, and now we take care of their will, their power of attorney, their living will their irrevocable trust, why we want to protect their assets from the nursing homes, put those into different areas. Maybe you're downsizing or you're changing your business. You want to pass your business on to your kids. Putting this off causes more trouble, which as you're, as you will clearly said, clarity gives you empowerment. Empowerment moves you forward. So now you're moving from this 7,000 square foot house or some of you, 2,000 square foot, and you're moving to a smaller house. No big deal. Who cares about that? The Joneses and the Jeffersons, they're not paying your bills. You are. So what greatness, how great would it be to have an extra $1,000 a month of expendable money? How great would it be to have an extra $300 a month for some of you? Or maybe $200. I don't know what your number is, but when you do your budget, when you do the estate planning and you put your legacy planning, and then we have the end of life. How do we protect all these goodies? We talk about the dreams, the dollars, and the dynasty. We talk about this all, but the biggest problem I've said, I've said over and over in my book is nothing worse than putting your head in the sand and all have your vitals exposed. What are your vitals? Your assets, your money, your families, the estate, probate, you know, the crows and the clowns show up at the funeral. So these are the things that stop you. But what are the things that help you get going? A clear, concise plan with looking the future. How great would it be looking down the line where now you're excited about the new move? Think about it with a different mindset. This is where people have the problems where I notice so often the different mindset of moving. And I can tell you we're in America. We can go wherever we want. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, if you'd like to talk about that, maybe you're stuck in the muck and say, how do I make this retirement work? We look at the dollars and then the legacy, but it's about the dream. 609-488-4646. I'd love to speak to you off the air. No cost, no obligation. Um, again, if you'd like to talk about the dynasty, make sure you uh, ask Laura for our, our uh, chapter 11 of my book. We talk about the dynasty, how to set up your estate. 609 488 Four six four six. Now here's the here's the problem. Here's the problem. Don't procrastinate. Give me a call off the air. 609-488-4646. No cost, no obligation, just great information. Absolutely, Scott. And people procrastinate when it comes to well, a lot of things, but with all that stuff in their house, they're putting it off and 
Well, there's just things, Scott, that it's it's tough to procrastinate, and you're gonna you're gonna encourage people not to uh, when it comes to things like creating a budget, legacy planning, into life planning, financial planning in general. These yeah. are all things that people can can put off. And why do people put this stuff off, Scott? It's easy. Yeah, it's easy to put things. You know, it's like uh, you, you 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 everybody wants to lose weight, so they go to the gym for a few weeks until the pain comes on. Ah, the hell, I'm not going to do that again. Screw that. I'm not going working out. That hurts too much. Right. You know, it's easy to think how you see these good, lean, mean people on TV, and they want you want to get that way, and you visualize that. Oh man, that'd be great until the pain comes in. Well, the question is, you got to work through the pain. No one wants to go through pain. No, none of us. I've gone through the PT through my knee and it's been really, really challenging. You think I want to go to this daggum doctor to make pain? No, I want to walk normal with this stupid limp. You know what? So I'm going to seek out what makes me work out. What's going to make it really comfortable in the long run. Mm -hmm. Short term pain could be a long term of enjoyment. And so for those people putting financial, maybe it's time to change advisors. I don't know. Maybe you want a second opinion. I don't know. Maybe you say, you know what? Am I in the right spot? Maybe it's time to to pick up the phone and just say, let's dial 609-488-4646. Why? Just to get a fresh opinion, a different opinion. Not to say you've got to work with Scott McLean and McLean Advisory Group, but to say, you know what? Are we on track? Because there's a lot of stress methods to put on a portfolio to see if we have another black swan event could that eat your money away? Could there be another drop in the market? Could we be going to war? Could this happen? All these negative things hit your mind and then you end up doing what? Not doing anything. Procrastination is the disaster. So again, no cost, no obligation. Just great information by dialing 609-488-4646. If I can help you, I'm here for you. You know, I guess I've been doing this radio show what's now 15 years now with WBNJ. We're a Proud support of them. It's a, it's a uh, it's an education radio show. It's people love it to death. I've heard, I mean, just they love it, and I'm so glad to be on it. And and uh, Bill's done a wonderful job in helping our company get the information, the education. And I can tell you, we've never tried to sell people over the phone, in person, or on any products. They just come in and get information. If this is a place for you, hey, this might be the best place ever for your next phase in life. That number 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. And one thing, Scott, is that people just get so emotional as we're talking about downsizing yeah. today, getting rid of stuff. But people have emotional ties to their belongings, to their stuff. And so yes. that can be difficult to to go through it at all or to get rid of stuff. But also, Scott, when it comes to people's finances, I mean, people get very emotional when it comes to financial decisions. And, and I think you know, having a person like you come in to help plan and to have that outside voice who doesn't have all that emotion tied to their money can really just help folks um, and not be alone in all this because it can be very overwhelming. You have a few factors. We all do. Factor number one, when you read the book on psychology of investing or psychology of money, which I've read several books, the psychological factors that really stop people the mental condition this is real whether it's the obsessive compulsive disorder or maybe you have the attention deficit disorder you can't stay focused this psychological factor can really really hurt you this is why maybe get your kids to help come in or maybe your wife or your husband or someone else outside to get a second opinion to get someone else help change your thinking psychological that makes you stop you have emotional attachment we're so deeply, and you said it, Alex, so many times, we're so deeply attached to maybe, let's say, our old financial advisor, but he or she maybe have moved on, or maybe they only focus on the growth, not income, or maybe they're not looking at your will, power of attorney living will. They're not looking at taxes and how the ramification of taxes, and they're only looking at finances. So the emotional attachment to the finances, because you've been with the advisor for so many years, but they haven't looked at the full picture. They didn't take the 3D approach. The 3D approach is so critical on those three areas. And then you think, well, I'm wasting time by making it, getting a second or third opinion. Again, psychological factor, emotional factor, and the fear of wasting someone's time or your time. Well, you know what? If all we have is time in retirement, how are you wasting it 
or how are you investing it? If you're not investing it, you're, you're probably wasting it. And I can tell you in this business now, since 1982, licensed in 83, done this for a few years now, I can tell you the, the information changed so much from those years to now and the traumatic experience people faced will make decisions different. And so I say that very cautiously for you out there. Had you invested in 1929 to 1950, market went nowhere. You probably would never want to go on the market because you saw it just take a tank. And those people investing from 1982 to 2000, the market went nothing but up. So the psychological aspect for those people in 1982 Get in the market, get in the market. For those people in the market 1929 to 50, stay out of the market. This psychological effect can really traumatize your portfolio because you don't know which brain, you have a devil on one side and an angel on the left. What are you listening to? Let's look at the entire facts because the psychological and emotional attachment could be the fear of wasting your money away and your time. Let's push forward as you're downsizing and really benefit, really benefit you, your spouse, your significant other, your children, your charity by not putting it off. And, and I'd love to help you. 609-488-4646. That was how you get a hold of me. Ask for Laura and say, Laura, I want to get in Scott's book. I want to have a quick phone call. Let's just have a quick discussion. Uh, no cost, no obligation, just great information. 609-488-4646. I'd love to talk to you guys. And I appreciate the time of you listening to this show. Absolutely. We know that nearly 70% of Americans are missing a written financial plan. But we also know Critical. people without a plan tend to feel less confident about their future. And so just what you were talking about there, Scott, you know, people put this off. It, it's hard to address. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get that real. But then if you don't address it, then you're not going to be confident about your financial future. And so that's why it's so important to come in and get guidance from somebody like Scott. That number again, 609 488 Four six four six six zero nine four eight eight four six four six at a dot com for the website. Well, good stuff. And when we come up, we're going to hear about somebody else in the area who's helping folks. We're going to hear from Robert Brown, who's going to talk about some benefits that you might not know you have. Well, that's great. Stop for a moment and think about this. Do you know how much money in your 401k or IRA is actually yours? Or will the government take a bigger chunk than you thought? Remember, you still might owe taxes on that money, but do you have a plan to help make sure you don't pay more than you should? At McLean Advisory Group, we believe you deserve to keep more of what you've earned, which is why we're here to help you navigate the confusing world of retirement taxes. It's your money. You deserve to know what's at stake. Right now, taxes are historically low, but they won't be this low forever. So call the McLean Advisory Group team today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. You work hard for your money, and we'll work just as hard to help you keep it. McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. McLean Tax Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies are not associated entities. I call it the chicken and the egg. The chicken is the investment. The egg is the dividend. And so when the chicken pops out the eggs, if you don't need the money, let's reinvest the eggs and buy more chickens. Man, that's just an excellent analogy, Scott. <laughs> this is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. McLean Advisory Group is so thankful for our veterans and the sacrifices they've made over the years. We're going to talk today about some programs aiming to help these great veterans with daily activities, medical expenses, and more financial insanity, out-of-the-box thinking for your financial sanity. I'm Alex Dingman, alongside, as always, Scott McLean. That's and right. today, <laughs> we have a good friend of his, Robert Brown, retired Navy veteran for over 20 years. He was a chief petty officer for the Persian 
Gulf and now Veterans Service Officer helping folks. Robert, thank you so much for serving this great country and for continuing to help folks uh, Uh, find those great benefits. My pleasure. That is awesome. And Scott, I know you guys have quite the history and uh, you like each other a little bit. You work together, you like each other, and and that's a good mix, right, Scott? (laughs) Once in a while. (laughs) It is is a good mix. Uh, uh, His wife's beautiful, beautiful family, took his family out on the boat. We just had some fun together. So the the neatest thing is how it started as we were helping our veterans. I took a class, as I mentioned in our previous show, about the aid and attendance pension benefit, which that benefit for you, whether you're in a nursing home or you're at home, I mean, that benefit is really, really beneficial. My daddy uh, was served in Korea. My grandfather served in World War II, and I am a 4F, not a Dodger. I'm a 4F. In other words, I didn't qualify because of surgeries on my body before when I tried to go in, but that was the rule in the McLean house. But notwithstanding, the aid and attendance benefit on our previous show talked about could you get benefits whether you're at home or not because you're sick or disabled, or maybe you need to go into the facility like Vineland, Paramus, Manilo Park. There's great facility. One of the best ones I believe in, in New Jersey is Vineland. But this program today, we spoke about that as a previous program, but this program today is for our veterans that serve And there's two types of benefits, the two types of benefits that Robert is very well of. And Robert is a 100% disabled veteran benefit, not because he's ugly and I'm better looking, but because because he's actually, this is not textbook, this is real world. And of course, the lawyer in our office also is a 100% disabled benefit, getting these wonderful benefits. There's there's a connected benefit, service-connected benefit. And there's a non-service connected benefit. And Robert, if we looked at the service connected versus non-service, we talk about the aid and attendance benefit, which is a wonderful benefit for those of you or your parents. You need to know about it. You need to ask us. And by the way, if you're, if you don't know about that, the number is 609-488-4646. Please feel free to give our our studios a call to, if you have any questions, um, we'll get you in touch with uh, Robert or someone that can handle your calls. If I can't, if I'm busy, I don't want to miss your call. 609-488- Four six four six. But Alex, we're talking about this yeah. connected benefits. Rob, there's two types of benefits. Let's give a summary of the uh, this other benefit we talk about. Well, you see on TV all the time this benefit uh, down in Camp Lejeune. We've been doing this thing for how many years, Robert? Since two thousand eight. Sure, a long time. And I have one of our gentlemen in our in our in our church who has spina bifida, which comes from the uh, water, Camp Lejeune, and he, as child of a veteran, didn't know he qualified. And when I mentioned to him, he says, I don't believe it. And so, of course, now he believes it. Robert, there's a lot of benefits. Let's go ahead and break it down as quick as you can sure. as we think about this great benefit. Okay. So it's generally the way this works is if you wore a uniform for some period of time, however long that was, and you got injured doing anything, it could have been your hand, your finger, your eye, your leg, your knee, what have you, and that's a, recorded somewhere in your medical record, then you report that. The big question to the VA before they'll pay you any compensation is this, it, this is the term, it's not a pension. This form is called a compensation. Before they pay you any compensation of money, they have to figure out, did this happen while you're in uniform, while you're active duty, or did it not? So if you were out of service and discharged and you got a car accident, it's quote, a non-service connected issue and the VA will not pay that. So it had to have happened or started or at least exacerbated while you were in the service in a uniform. So is this a service-connected benefit? That's what has to be determined first. And the VA does a process to figure that out. Once that's done, they say, okay, here's your problem. I understand. I'm going to send you to a third-party adjudicator to figure out, to confirm the, the severity of that problem. If it's hearing, again, if it's a broken leg, what have you, and where do we go from there? Is it a recurring problem or is it a problem that's been fixed and now you're 100% better? Again, no compensation. But if there is still an existing issue, then the VA will pay this compensation of a certain percentage equating to a certain amount of dollars every single month, again, tax-free. In our place in uh, Alex, uh, Florida, we have an Ocala a farm and we have an equestrian center down there. We were behind there at the World Equestrian Center. We have one of our gentlemen who takes care of our property down there and he is a veteran. He was uh, in Afghanistan. He went through some real challenges and he wasn't sure about the benefits. I said, Robert, do me a favor and give my friend, we won't say his name, but give my friend a call. I think he qualifies for benefits. He was not getting 100%. And he did connect it. He has, he's been through a lot of 
challenges. I won't go deep, but some of you listening right now, maybe you have been in some deep challenges and, and you're afraid to apply because you saw your buddies got damaged or hurt in the war, but you didn't. And therefore you think you shouldn't apply because Definitely. you don't deserve it. Downplay, right? Downplaying the, the you, issue. You think other people deserve it, but you may, you are just as eligible from a wartime vet versus a service connected vet. Two different situations. And Robert and I see this all the time. And I see these veterans as I'm doing the financial planning. And I ask the question, what went on? And when I see their eyes glaze over, they don't want to talk about it. I wait to get alone with them. Or I have Robert call them because a vet to a vet will talk versus I'm a non-vet, even though I know this program very well. Uh, they would rather speak to somebody who's been in the, in the muck, who's been in the trenches, sure. who's gone through this war problem. And though, of course, I tell Robert, do me a favor, call maybe you. If your spouse, if you're on there and your wife or your husband's on there and you've seen your spouse go through this, give us a call and maybe Robert can can help you say some yeah. words where maybe your husband or your wife, the veteran, would like to get help, but they're afraid to get help. And I can't tell you when I was developing another program with Columbia University, which is the, with the horses, if you'll see War Horses with uh, Earl Mack. We were developing that program until COVID hit. I can tell you this is a tremendous benefit for PTSD as well. Robert can be very helpful. 609-488-4646. Again, please don't put yourself on the shelf. Yeah. Come off the shelf. Come off the, uh, well, I don't need to apply. I'm tough. Well, I I'm doing that now with my hurt knee. I walk around tough because I know I got to get surgery. But this is something you don't want to put off because as you get older, more issues start to crop up, Robert. Is that right? Oh, they do. They increase uh, over the time, multiple times. And then it, had you not explored that issue, now you're putting it off. And the commencement begins when you start your application. You cannot get any retroactive money, but only moving forward once the application is put in. So, so don't hesitate. Talk to us. Get a hold of us. We'll figure out where to navigate the waters from there, sailor speaking. Once and go the from application is put in. So thinking right. about it doesn't right. start it. Just filling out the form doesn't start it. You actually have to submit it. Yeah, that's correct. And that's Scott, correct. you've been helping people with their finances for over 40 years, but also very importantly, since 2008, you've been specifically helping people with their benefits if they're veterans as you opened up the Veterans Benefit Advisory Group back in 2008. And we're talking today with Robert Brown, retired Navy Chief Petty Officer, served for 20 years and now is a Veterans Service Officer. And guys, we have a few minutes left and I know we're talking about some known benefits, some unknown benefits. What maybe are, are some other benefits or opportunities for folks that people should know about? Uh, well, there's a number of them. Some of them are, uh, if you wanted dental care, you can get that. Not necessarily a particular benefit, but a, a benefit from having served. If you had dental issues, you can apply for a certificate of eligibility for a home loan. There are burial benefits that many, many people don't know about as far as funeral services costs incurred. Uh, the Veterans Cemetery, the, the plot, the grave marker. Some of those, there's a spousal benefit that you can get for the spouses of the veteran who passed away. Uh, again, a monthly basis for payment of that surviving spouse benefit, they called. Or there's dependent education benefits for the children of some of those veterans. Uh, for example, my daughter is going to Stockton University for as a quote cut rate because the VA pays part of her education hmm. based upon my disability. So Very she's cool. the recipient of of my service and gets those benefits for, for her college education. So. So spouse uh, dependent education benefits there. My wife could go to school if she were chose to because of the disability status that I'm at. Uh, and, and again, all of this is a monthly benefit, non-taxable. You don't talk about it to the accountants. And Robert, I want to interject real quick because I think it's very important. The number 609-488-4646. But the point that this is great information for veterans, but also veterans' families as well. That's something for folks that are listening out there. There's opportunities for the families of veterans also. Again, that number is 609-488-4646. Robert Scott, please continue. Got a couple moments left here. Very important stuff. A couple things that hit my mind that I don't think we brought up. I can't find my dad's records. I can't find the DD-214. I don't know what to do, Robert. What do they do? Because this is a, a 
a reason not to follow up because you don't know what to do. B, a reason to put it off and and maybe I'll get to it later. Uh, it's almost like putting your Christmas tree up on December 24th because you don't have any money. Well, that's what I did when I, when I was broke. But this is different. This is a benefit for life. Robert, I can't find the records. What do we do? Okay. So, so to answer that really is talk to me. All right. Tell me what you know and tell me what you don't know. And I say that because if you don't know how to get your record, and again, this could be the military discharge document, DD-214, or the, again, the, the War Department, the WD document, or it could be I don't have medical records from when I was in. I was in Agent Orange, and when we got discharged, we just sent us home, and I wanted to get out of the Vietnam, so I just left. I never got my records, my medical records, to prove any of my disability, so we could start from there. The answer is come and talk to us. I know exactly where we submit to. I know the documents to submit for. We just do a couple documents, submit it. It comes in the mail and we begin. So if you don't have documents, that's okay. We'll get them. And it's as simple as that. We know where to, to lead everyone to get this benefit. You start with that. You need the foundation. Then we proceed forward with an application and submission. I think the worst thing I find out with veterans uh, being in this business now, 40 plus years, my dad did pass away within five days when he had leukemia. Uh, mom passed away in, uh, three months and, uh, we never went for the benefit. I frankly never knew about this benefit until I was invited to school. I didn't, I thought there was a, a scam and they said, well, you pay $2,500, come to our school, learn about these benefits. I really honestly thought it was a scam. Dave Conley and one of our attorneys that we work with on estate planning said, Scotty, what's 2,500 bucks when you can help vets. And he always calls me a draft dodger, even though I wasn't <laughs> because I was four F yeah, the good friends together. give you the hardest time. That's for they sure. Do. They are. We we've been together since 1984, Dave Conley and I, and, and the funniest thing, the wonderful most thing is, is I did go to school and I said, Holy mackerel, every financial advisor should be asking the question, are you a veteran? Was your husband or wife a veteran? Maybe they passed away. Was your mom and dad a veteran? This is part of the estate planning process, Alex. As I as I meet with people, I'm asking lots of questions. They're asking, why are you asking these questions? Because I'm looking for benefits they are totally unaware of. I'm looking to reduce taxes, the best benefit. I'm looking to make their life much more pleasant. So when they retire, they don't worry about running out of money. They, they enjoy their lifestyle. And that's why I added this veterans benefit in there because they didn't take me Alex. And I yep. felt guilty because that's the whole thing in the McLean's all the McLean's have to join. That yep. was the rule. And they didn't take me. And I frankly was scared to call my dad saying they turned me down. They four F me. Sure. But the moment I told him I applied to every single facility, whether the army, Navy Marines, which, which I went for first, every one of them turned me down. I didn't know they shared records. And then all of a sudden, I was afraid to call my dad. When I called him, he said, okay, son, no big deal. I thought I was going to get drilled down because his goal and the family was to drill down people to find out the best way possible. Now, Robert, as we close on this subject, um, as a veteran, you've seen people apply. You've seen people get denied. And then they say, well, I applied. I did it myself and I didn't get approved and because they didn't get help. What do you say? Well, well, first of all, I say it, you, you may not have completed every single document in every single line entry that the VA wants. So they don't explain the, the discrepancy on your document. They just send it back and say, sorry, not approved. So it becomes very important to know exactly what forms to fill out, exactly where to sign, how to answer the questions in order to get approved at the VA level. And based upon expertise here, that's how you get it through. We've had one claim who got approved and Scott could verify in from start to finish in 10 Days. That was a miracle, though. That was that ten. Was, days. Don't expect Phenomenal. that, guys. It was this was a miracle. I <laughs> I told you, I told you very clearly. But that was wonderful. It was. Well, she it started was coming awesome. in. The wife came in. The husband's life. A Marine his Corps noodles vet. went. The Marine Corps vet. His noodles went uh, south. He was getting uh, flashbacks. He came in. She was crying. Didn't know what to do. They was gonna. They were burning cash. They were going to the nursing home. They came. She came in from hearing me from other people. She came in within. I can't. And I will tell you this, I don't know how it happened so quick. I've never seen it, but, but it is out there. It is real. As long as you do it correct guys, yep. Alex. Yep. Thank and, you. And you need some guidance. And that's really what it's, what we're out here for. Would it guide you to where you need to be based upon your service and your commitment in, in military. Thank you. And that's for where it is. And again, serving vets is ideal. And in my heart, every single day. 
Thank you so much for that. Great way to close. And again, if you need help, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Great guest today, Veteran Service Officer Robert Brown. Robert, again, thank you for being a guest today. More importantly, thank you for serving our nation. You're welcome. Thanks, buddy. Scott opened up the Veterans Benefit Advisory Group in 2008 to help veterans and their families, guiding them to these important benefits. Again, that number, 609-488-4646. The number for Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. And again, a special salute and thank you to all of our veterans. This radio program may contain information which has gone regulatory or other significant changes since its original recording. The information and views expressed on today's show is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment, product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up to date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, a SEC registered investment advisory firm. McLean Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies, LLC, are not associated entities. This radio show is a paid placement. 